Alright, so it's Monday night. So, you know, normally people who watch sports are ready for some Monday night football. You know, so I thought I'd kind of do the same ideology, but it doesn't necessarily work hand in hand with Pokemon. It's like, are you ready for some Pokemon? Nah. But anyway, uh, first battle, this is against a guy, just put his butterfly to sleep because I was bad, jolly, actually Tim in nature, and then I'm gonna sludge bomb and he dies, and then he runs away, <laughs> so that was funny. But you know what, enough kidding around, man, we're not here most about beating some, you know, some nobody, man, I gotta play somebody strong, look at that P.O. name, ask me who that is, ask me who that is, you guys better know who that is, you guys don't know who that is, seriously? Alright, so, um, it's me and my boy Shofu, son. Yes, son. <laughs> All right, enough of this, man. So I gotta pull on my thinking cap, man. I got no freaking ass around here, man. I'm pulling my damn thinking cap because this guy's serious, son. Anyway, I just noticed that uh, Andy's becoming a little bit more popular as opposed to where posting videos are concerned. So I figured, you know, I dabble in the tear a little bit myself. So I might as well just brush up a little bit. So um, it looks like I'm gonna have my work cut out for me in this battle, man. I got the toxic and the toxic spikes. Predicted to switch on to mischievous, man. Set up that toxic real easy early, man. He's gonna burn whatever I decide to bring in. I think he uh, knocked off my Valite this turn, or was that like, I think I'm a little bit ahead of myself. So he's gonna taunt. I'm just gonna see if he has a taunt or not. So I'm just gonna walk switch right out, see what he does. Maybe he has a hidden power of fighting. I know hidden power of fighting won't be able to one shot my Cobo Pass specifically. So I just went on to Haunter and then just probably just force to switch up to Miltech, which is amazing, yes. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna go for the Choice Band and Head Smash and I'm gonna finish off Mischievous so I can hit everything with the low. I'm sorry, with the Brick Break. No, with the Super Power. The Super Power. Or do I have the low sweep? I think I have the low sweep. Why do I have low sweep? But, um, I meant to have super power. I have low sweep. But, unfortunately, hey, whatever. I miss, you know? So, I'm gonna have to still deal with this mischievous in the front in the field. Can't even talk now. In the field. <laughs> you know? But, um, in comes our model. I know that's his rapid spinner, so I'm not necessarily too worried about it. So, I know he's gonna, I think he's gonna rapid spin this particular turn. Uh, I think that's what he does. He rapid spins. Yes, he does. I'm just gonna go for the power gem just to weaken it a little bit. And then afterwards, set up the entry hazards, provided that he doesn't have the earthquake. I'm taking a huge risk here. I can use pro bass later on for death water, provided as long as I get off my stuff rock. And I do. He has the excess or nothing to hit pro pass for super effective damage, and or probably just predicted to switch out because you know all models do carry earthquake. So I'm just gonna switch out into my tentacle, seeing that his. Uh, his spinner is gone, so I can set up, I'm free to set up the other toxic spice all I want to. He knows this, take the opportunity to switch out to Gorbis. Now, I did see a comment recently where this player was like, oh, um, using shell smash is, um, you know, only good play good players don't use shell smash. Some, some noob shit that I saw on, you know, some video or whatever like that. So, go troll him. He's an idiot. Yes. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I didn't even tell you what video it was. It was my body bag video that I didn't show that uh, kid was an idiot, man. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. We know how to play this game. So I'm just going to bring the Haunter right on the false insurance, thinking that the Sludge Bomb would be able to one-shot the bribery at that particular range of HP. But I guess that's why I should personally run Sludge Wave, because Sludge Wave does have a higher um, base power than Sludge Bomb. I don't really even know if people do know that or not. So, um, in the future, I learned my lesson, I'm like, yo, if I had Sludge Wave, man, I'd still have my choice scarf on to destroy stuff, man, especially this damn mill tank. Lock this thing up into a choice scarf, man, seriously, no damn skill belly shenanigans you're doing, stupid ass cow, man, suck my dick. Anyway, um, yeah, in comes the Tangler, and uh, I think I think I knock off the different switch or something like that, but, um, he unfortunately for him, he misses the Toxic, which is great. Because I'm able to switch out to Tentacle just to test the theory to see if we go for the Toxic again. Um, I think I have Skull, Skull or Sir. So I was just I was just going to use Tentacle for Death Fighter at that particular point. In comes Mischievous, which should have been gone a long time ago. And like I said, I have the low sweep because I was pretty damn sure that he would switch. You know, that he would stay in for some reason. I don't even know why. But um, I thought he would stay in or switch out into something else. I didn't think that um, he would go into mischief mischievous again. But then again, why wouldn't he? Seeing that my haunted just bit the dust, so he's not afraid of any ghost type attacks, um, inflicting any particular damage onto his mischievous. So why wouldn't he switch it out? So yeah, that's my thinking there. So. But he knows this Shadow Ball able to finish off my Quagsire as well as have the double down thanks to Mischievous taking significant damage from the Toxic Spikes. 
So, um, it comes back with a great switch on his behalf. He's gonna go for the Fire Blast, and that would've been an easy to a kill. Um, being that Magmortar is faster than the Ember, seeing that much damage that Fire Blast did, I'm gonna go for the Wild Charge. I don't even know why the hell I'm using Ember to begin with. Now that I think about it, I should be using Magmortar. But something else, you know, else common. I could just, like, go for the Focus Blast. It's supposed to, you know, have a superpower. I guess Focus Blast will do a little bit more, since Mid Tank is more used as a physical wall than, you know, than a low kick or something like that. She's so gonna go for the toxic and miss. So I'm like, yes, I can hit this thing with the low kick, except for the fact that Mill Tang outspeeds that thing. Another reason why I should run um uh Magmortar in the future. So I'm just gonna go for the Giga Drain, get a critical hit, and the toxic is gonna be enough to finish him off. I guess he was trying to um, stall me with the uh, the toxic spikes. And I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain here, but unfortunately he's is gonna be able to one o me with the one shot victory with the ice cream. Great games. Players like you, show for that make me go up to hit, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm, I mean, it's not too much, so it's only 34, or whatever, but, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like players like that, I want to play, all, all the time, I want to play against people like that, you know, so now I'm going to issue a challenge out to me, out to him, I know he hasn't been laddering too much in the OU, I'm sorry, in the NU tier, so he's a little bit lower than me, so I know he can probably catch up, so Shofu, catch up, alright, so peace, and hey, what you doing?